All right, y'all, what's up? I just wanted to jump on here right quick and voice over this video right quick, tell y'all what this is. So, um, went to the grocery store one day. I found three pomegranates that were marked down. Um, usually, pomegranates around here are around 2 or $3 a piece. Well, like 2 for 5 uh, up to anywhere to $4 a piece. It just depends on what store you're at. So, when I saw that bag of three of them, and the bag was only two dollars and fifty cents. I'm like, okay, that's a good deal. So I grabbed the bag, um, and I thought to myself, I knew one of them in there was kind of mushy. It was, it was pretty much. I mean, it wasn't rotten, but I wouldn't have ate it. Um, but the other two were fine. But I said to myself, even if all three of them were bad, it doesn't matter because I could get the seeds and plant them because I've always wanted to grow pomegranates. And they were palm wonderful pomegranates, by the way. So, what you see me doing right here is I, I took my compost. They came out of my um, my compost pile. It's, it has leaves and stuff in it, y'all, because it's just an open pile. So, um, it's under some trees. So, when leaves fall, they get in there. It's no big deal. Um, and I'm sifting out uh, all of the kind of bigger stuff like the leaves and all that kind of stuff and the finer stuff will uh, fall through I just got that sieve over a five gallon bucket and um, you just see me just kind of shaking and shaking it breaking up some of the um, clumps of dirt uh, some of the obvious clumps um, you know it doesn't take it doesn't take very long I, I sped this video up but I think all together for me to sift um, for me to sift all that you can see it coming out of the bottom there I just kind of check to see how much is coming out. When I pour it back there, it's gonna go back into the uh, into the compost pile. Um, any any of the big stuff, it'll go back into the compost pile and finish breaking down. So, uh, but yeah, this process took me I don't know, maybe maybe five minutes, five yeah, five minutes or so. So then got it all sifted out. Then I just kind of. There you go, you can kind of see how pretty it is. I pour it back in there. Now that pan there, um, that was just an old foil pan. I had um, from something, I think I cooked something in it and I just rinsed it out real good or cleaned it out real good. And um, I'm gonna plant in it now. Uh, I'm not a huge foil pan user in the kitchen, but I had some, you know, the foil pan worked out, uh, basically. So here you see me with my, my bag of pomegranates. They had bagged them up for me. This one here is the mushy one. Um, and you'll notice like right as I put my finger, some juice like came out. So I'm not going to put the uh, the rind from the pomegranate in there. I'm just going to pretty much squeeze um, all the little seeds out. Now, true enough, when I've seen it online, people plant theirs and they like clean the seeds off really, really good. And there's nothing left with the little white seed thing. Y'all, it's a million and six of these seeds. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. So I'm planting them just like this because if you think about it in nature, when a pomegranate um, d doesn't get eaten on the tree, it rots and it falls to the ground and the seeds, the ones that want to germinate, they'll germinate. Nobody cleans all the little red stuff off and, you know, sanitizes them and makes sure of this and that and the other. That's not what happens. So, um, so if nature don't do it, I ain't doing it. Um, so yeah, I just kind of scraped out you know all the seeds you see me there kind of popping them out and i don't know if you can kind of tell the discoloration it was kind of mushy um it wasn't right it wasn't rotten i didn't see but it was the texture wasn't right on it um so that was that one but the other two they were good to go so your girl busted them open too but um yeah i kind of i ate these <laughs> so um yeah I ate it. I, 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 look at me. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling. But you can see how pretty it is when you open it. So when I opened it and I saw how good it looked, I was like, oh, wow. It is. And, it, and it tasted delicious. So, um, so yeah, I just went through all the rest of these, um, you know, eating and dispersing seeds, um, onto the soil. And if you notice, I still had some soil in the bucket. That's so that I could cover these seeds when I get through. So, I mean, that's pretty much the video, guys. Y'all um, can finish watching what I'm doing, and I'll come back to you at the end of the video.
right, y'all. I got it all covered over with dirt. I watered it in. All the water has come out of the holes in the bottom. I'm going to put this in my greenhouse, and I will keep y'all up to date on uh, how it does.